Hey everyone, what's up? I hope everyone has had a great two weeks since that's the last time I came at you guys. Um, I'm here for my week 25 update from vertical sleeve gastrectomy that I had done on April 20th, 2015. And I'll go ahead and get to my stats. I started this journey at 326 pounds. I was two weeks prior to my surgery date. Uh, day of surgery, I was 305. Today, I am 216.4, which is a 9.2 pound loss for the two weeks that I was gone. And it's 109.6 pounds loss since my highest recorded weight. Also, with that said, I'm officially the smallest I've ever been um, in my adult life. So I'm really excited about that. It's such an overwhelming feeling to be as smaller than you've ever remembered. Um, last time I was this small, I was 14 years old, <laughs> a freshman in a brand new school district, did not know anybody, was not very happy about it, hated myself. I uh, hated the way I looked and actually, you know what's funny about it is I don't remember hating myself before I moved there. It was after and that's when everything started spiraling out of control. So, um, actually, spiraling out of control as in I just kept gaining weight and I've been on a diet ever since I was 14. So, that's a little information for you. Uh, let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and talk and I'm sorry I'm going to work out. I promise I'm going to work out after this. Did not work out any of this last week. Um, had a really tough time getting in my water because I had a bad sinus infection coming back from va vacation. And every time I drank water, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> so Atlantis, let's talk about that. Had a great time, had a blast, was with my best friend and my mom. It was just us three girls and we had a great time, tons of drinking Eating was actually, um, what I did eat was not probably anything healthy. It wasn't anything healthy at all, but we didn't eat really often and I didn't eat too much. Had sushi twice and that was awesome. I love, we call it fake sushi because it's not really raw food. I had tempura shrimp with um, avocado rolled up and it was delicious. Oh my gosh. Uh, first... The first day that we did it, I was able to eat three roll, three pieces. And second day we did it, I was able to eat four. And I probably could have eaten five or six. The second day we went, I, we didn't drink. I didn't drink as much as I normally did the other days. So that's probably why I felt like I could eat more. Um, and I did have a lot of cravings on vacation. I was craving mozzarella sticks. I wanted mozzarella sticks. And I wanted, um, yeah, I pretty much ate whatever I wanted. But of course, my sleeve was like, not too much. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bailey. Uh, so yeah, I had a great time. So that's that. What else do I have to talk about? Um, oh, when I got back, because I was having all those cravings, I started to do a restart. Um, and I had two protein, Premier Protein shakes a day, and I had three or two snacks. My snack was either a string cheese or half a power crunch bar. I decided to do it that way. Oh, and for dinner, I decided I just ate pretty much protein. And I think that really did help with my cravings. My cravings have been very minimal when I've gotten back and it helped me a lot with portion control because I do feel like there was situations where I was eating a little bit more than what I would like to eat. Another thing that I wanted to talk about too is portion control whenever you get further out I feel I know I've been watching videos and they're talking about eating a cup um, a cup and a half to two cups of food and that kind of scares me I really want to try to stick with my half a cup um, per meal kind of food situation and I think the best way I'm gonna do that is just continue just to just give myself a half a cup and no more than that. And if I just sit there long enough, I'll probably be satisfied. Another thing I've had lately was coffee. 
I've really been wanting coffee lately and I've been putting the vanilla premier protein shake. I've been putting about a third. I have a cup a cup of coffee and I'm not I've never been a coffee drinker and now I am because I like the energy from it. I was, however, a rock star drinker. I loved the energy that I got from that. And since I don't have that, I'm replacing it with coffee. Things that I looked up coffee, I wanted to see if it's going to really harm my weight loss or stall it. One thing that I figured out or one thing that I've been reading is that because it's a stimulant, it actually could add, it could actually add, not add, what am I looking for? Could actually act, sorry, as a diuretic and a thermogenic. So it could possibly help you with that aspect in it, but also they said that the caffeine in there raises your blood sugar. So I'm trying to limit myself to a cup uh, maybe every other day so that I can continue to get that feeling because, you know, eventually my body's just going to adapt to that. So I'm hopefully going to be adding that. Also this last week, I know it may be TMI, but I did go to the restroom like a lot. The Premier Protein Shakes, if I put one of those down in a sitting, I mean, it's just like it acts, yeah, I definitely need to go to the restroom after that. I know that's TMI, but yeah, there it is. One thing that I hit this week was a size 16. Um, never been a size 16. Actually, it was funny enough that last week, yeah, last week I was feeling like I weigh more than what I have on my lowest. And when I was this low or lower, low like this and weight wise, I actually was a size 18. So I found it really awesome that I could be pounds heavier, but yet still be smaller physically. So that was awesome. I went to the thrift store and I ended up getting two pairs of pants, uh, jeans from there because you know, with fall coming around or is here and I need some jeans. So did that. So if anybody needs size 18s, um, I do have like a couple pairs of jeans and I do have, I do have some of these workout pants I've gotten. Um, actually I was able to wear them from 326 down to, I think 250 or something like that. I was able to wear them. So I have some stuff. I wasn't sure if anybody is interested. And also there was a really nice woman and I should have written down her name, but she's in the weight loss community and she mailed me size 16, um, 16 W. I don't really know what that means, but pretty much they were supposed to be like leggings or jeggings or skinny jeans or whatever. And they're dark charcoal gray and a black one. And I was so excited and I put them on and they're too big. So if anybody is looking for those two, I'm more than happy to, you know, just go ahead and hit me up. Um, you can email me at DreaVSG85 at yahoo.com. I believe that's what I have. So just go ahead and email me and we'll link up somehow. Um, or I'll just mail them to you. Uh, let's see what else I talked about. Water was a big thing. Was having a big problem getting water for the last two weeks. Um, NSV is also walking in Atlantis. There's a lot of walking and being able to fit into a single person tube comfortably and be moving around. And I don't know, it's such a weird feeling. So I had my cheat day. You guys know I give myself a cheat day, one cheat day per week to have whatever I'm craving. One thing I did end up having was the Trader Joe's mozzarella sticks. And it's so funny because I'm like looking at it and I'm like, oh, this is my cheat meal. And it's like for two sticks, it ends up being nine grams of protein and 11 carbs. Not really too bad, I guess you'd say. So, <laughs> but still it made me feel good and they were delicious. The seasoning on the outside is so good. So everybody talks about Trader Joe's cookie butter. And I'm not really big a fan of the taste of, I believe it's gingerbread or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think. Anyways, never been a fan, but I went ahead and got the pumpkin pie spice cookie butter from Trader Joe's. This shit is the devil. It's the devil. I, I mean, I like pumpkin stuff. I'm a big, huge pumpkin pie fan. Uh, during Thanksgiving, we usually go to Costco and get those pans that are as big as two people's heads, you know, kind of like $5. Anyways, I got this and 
For two tablespoons, it's 220 calories, 15 grams of fat, 20 carbs, 11 sugars, and one gram of protein. This is a cheat, okay? This is not something I'm eating every single day. Um, it tastes delicious. I've always been that kind of person. I like the gooey, and it sounds disgusting, but I like the gooeyness in my mouth. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love this stuff. It's so good. Um, so yeah, I probably, I will not be having it again until next Sunday. So that's that. Um, uh, let's see what else I have to talk about. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, I think that's it. 10 minutes in and yeah, that's pretty awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing great. By the way, congratulations to Elizabeth. She hit Wonderland. I can't wait to be there too with you. Um, she's doing awesome. She's doing phenomenal. And Carissa, oh my gosh, you look awesome. I saw her video and she's looking really thin in the face and her tattoos look freaking badass. I love her tattoos. Um, my, by the way, my tattoos are looking pretty badass. I don't know if you guys know that, but I have, um, a pity, a pit bull on my right shoulder and a big koi in the middle. And then my daughter with some hibiscus flowers on my daughter's name and hibis, hibiscus flowers on my left shoulder blade and they actually are looking more vibrant because the skin is not as stretched out so that's great um this week i am going to be doing jillian michaels three times a week instead of doing zumba uh the reason for that is because i feel like i'm getting a little bit flabby and yeah i my i bought this firming lotion by nivea and i will have a update for you guys on that next week see um, maybe I'll have some before and after pictures so you guys can kind of maybe see a difference I don't know I don't know if it's really working or not anyways and 12 minutes in I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next week and I look forward to seeing everybody's videos uh, love you and thank you so much for subscribing and I'm always looking for no new people to watch so if you guys have any recommendations leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys later all right bye